Is there really a legitimate strategy to pay zero tax on your capital gains? Yes, there is. I'm going to break them down. Whether this is selling real estate, a business, or stocks, there are legitimate ways to pay zero tax when selling an asset. I'm Matt Sorensen, Wealth Lawyer. I've been helping clients strategize and minimize their tax liability using these three strategies. Now, coming in at number three is the 1031 exchange. The 1031 exchange is a strategy for real estate investors where you can sell real estate and repurchase real estate and pay zero tax on the sale. This is called tax deferral though, you're not getting out of the tax, you are deferring the tax into the next property. But the nice thing about the 1031 exchange is if you want to do it again and again and again, you could buy and sell 10 properties over and over and go from a 100,000 single family property to a $10 million multifamily property, always upgrading the property as you go, deferring the taxes into the next property that's bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, now the way the 1031 exchange works is you have to buy a property of equal or greater value than the property you're selling. So let's say you bought a property for a hundred thousand that's now worth three hundred thousand and if you sell this property you're gonna have a two hundred thousand dollar gain now in order to avoid that gain if you want to purchase a replacement property it would need to be three hundred thousand or greater so the purchase price of the replacement property the new property needs to be greater than the existing property you're selling now that gain goes into the next property and there's no tax and you can keep doing this over and over and over again i've seen a lot of real estate investors use this strategy to grow their real estate portfolio and pay no taxes now a lot of people are like well matt how do i access that money. I don't want to just grow all this wealth and I have access to it. Well, those rental properties might produce more cash flow. Let's not forget about that. But also you can strip out the equity of the properties. Look at Donald Trump and his tax return. A lot of people criticize him because he's like never pays any taxes. Well, why is that? He's invested in real estate. He's used 1031 exchanges. He uses depreciation to offset the income and he strips out debt from the properties. He doesn't take out income. He doesn't sell the property for a gain. He takes a loan out. When you loan money off of property, that is debt and not income. So the 10th one's great for any of you real estate investors. Make sure you know that strategy is a common tool you need to have in the toolkit. Now, for you small business owners, there is the QSBS, Qualified Small Business Stock, sometimes called Section 1202. Now, if you have a C corporation, you have to have a C corporation. As a tax lawyer, I hate C corporations. We generally do not use them, but it is popular for startups. There's a number of reasons a lot of startups use them. This is one of them. Under the QSBS rules, if you have a C corp, you can sell a property and exclude up to 10 $10 million of gain as long as you held that business for five years. So if you own stock in a qualified small business that has less than 50 million of assets and you get a gain, you can exclude up to $10 million or 10 times your original investment, whichever is greater. So I can at least get $10 million of exclusion, zero tax by selling qualified small business stock. So if any of you buying businesses and selling them or starting businesses that you want to sell, this is a great strategy. Make sure you know the QSBS. Now it doesn't work for every small business. A lot of small businesses are better off being S-Corps because of the operating income. You pay less tax over time. Or if any of you trying to grow a business that you're going to immediately sell or sell within like, say, a five to 10 year window, and that's the whole way you want to monetize the investment, QSBS should be something you should look at. Also, for any of you investing in small businesses that could be high growth businesses, looking for opportunities that are QSBS could be nice. Because for an investor, you get a greater return by not having to pay any tax on the money. Okay, so we got the 1031 for real estate investors, the QSBS for small businesses, and coming in at number one, it is six Sitting there in plain sight is the Roth IRA and Roth 401k. This is the only vehicle you can use to buy and sell businesses, real estate, stock, private equity, crypto. I don't care what the asset is. You can buy and sell in an IRA or 401k. And if you're using a Roth account, there's no tax when you do it. And there's no tax when you pull the money out later on in retirement. You can have zero capital gains on the investments in your Roth IRA. And again, no tax on the way out too when you pull the money out later in retirement. Now, a lot of people think of the Roth IRA is simply a vehicle to buy mutual funds or index funds or stocks. But if you have a self-directed IRA, which we do a directed IRA, click this video here to learn what the heck a self-directed IRA is. You can use this to invest in not just the stock market. You can use a Roth IRA or Roth 401k to invest in real estate and crypto and private businesses and private funds. These are all assets your retirement account can own. So that is the three strategies you can legitimately have zero capital gains tax on your investments, the 1031 for real estate, the QSBS for small business, and the Roth IRA for everything for building long-term wealth. Now make sure you're subscribed because I'll be coming back with more tips, more strategies to keep more money in your pocket. Until then, take control of your financial future.